Oh my God, wait. and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here I'm Austin and on this channel I do tips for beauty and fashion content creators as well as beauty product reviews and today I am doing not so much a product review but really a first impressions of the new collection from Florence by Mills now I've done a lot of different brand reviews on this channel before but by far my most watched ever video on YouTube is my Florence by Mills brand review so I will link the original review down below if you'd like to go check it out that video is just over a year old and they just released some new products. So the brand actually sent me the new collection so huge thank you to Florence by Mills for keeping me on your PR list and I thought it would be fun to go through have a little self-care Sunday as my shirt says and review all of the new products together. Before I get into the video, please consider subscribing to my channel if beauty product reviews are of interest to you. I post new videos to this channel every Sunday, and don't forget to give this video a like down below if it informs you about these new products, and comment below which product you're most excited to try from this new collection. Okay, so I did a more complete brand review in the first video I mentioned, but to give you a quick overview of Florence by Mills if you're not familiar, this is a clean beauty beauty brand that is sold at Ulta and on FlorenceByMills.com, started by Millie Bobby Brown. And the entire line is paraben-free, sulfate-free, and synthetic fragrance-free, and is for all skin types. I am 99% positive that every product from this brand is under $35, so I would classify this in the affordable skincare range. One other thing to point out before I start testing the products is this is a first impressions video. Typically, you should really give yourself at least two weeks to a month to see if skincare products work for you. And if you want to see any kind of follow-up video, whether I post that here or on my Instagram or TikTok, let me know if you'd be interested in hearing my thoughts after a month of trying these out. So I think the first thing that I want to talk about are the toners, because how cute are these? And it seems like you get a ton of product in here. You get 6.26 fluid ounces of liquid, and for the price of $18, all of these are individually $18. I think that's a ton of product for your money. I thought it was pretty Pretty cute that she named these episodes one, two, and three because obviously Millie is someone who is an actor on television. You may have heard of Stranger Things. And so I thought that was a cute little touch. Um, to me, it wasn't exactly clear if I was supposed to like use these in that order. I figured out that that's pretty much just a cute name for them and that you should use these depending on your skin concerns for that day. So there is a brightening toner, a clarifying toner, and a balancing toner. And what I love right away is seeing that all of these are alcohol free, which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and test these out and just give you kind of my sense of what the product feels like on my face and if this is something I could picture seeing in my daily skincare routine. And to do this, I will be using these reusable cotton pads. So these are actually reusable bamboo cotton rounds and you can probably see here that the texture of these is a little bit shimmery. It kind of reminds me of like a juicy tracksuit <laughs> vibes a little bit. Anyway, so you get 10 of these reusable cotton rounds in this little mesh bag and you can either hand wash these or you can put them in the bag and throw them in the wash. One note I have from my first go round of reusable cotton pads is that after you use it, if you've got a lot of makeup or product on there, if you're using these to remove makeup, I would really just give them a quick rinse because otherwise when I just threw them in the wash, that product didn't really come off as well as I would have liked. So I think rinsing it immediately after you use it is a good tip to kind of make sure that they stay clean-ish looking. So I will be testing them out with the products. The first one up is the brightening toner. So it says this daily brightening toner is infused with Mexicana flower and botanical extracts and pumps our glow and helps our skin feel smooth and restored. Okay, so I just put two pumps on this cotton pad. I'll move a little bit closer and start sweeping the product on my face. And so you do apply these after you cleanse. Uh, the cleanser I use today is this one from Kinship. I haven't talked about this brand yet on my channel. This is the Naked Papaya Gentle Enzyme Face Cleanser. Really like it so far. It just has kind of a finicky pump, so be careful because when you push down on it, uh, if you press too hard, it will squirt directly into you. <laughs> Get all over your clothes. 
This product also has lavender water and cucumber water in it, which I feel like are both super relaxing. And again, that lavender is not a synthetic fragrance. It's a natural fragrance. All right. And I have to say, I love this experience of this bamboo cotton round. This is so much more gentle than the first set of cotton rounds that I tried that were reusable. So this is so far going well for me. I mean, I definitely feel a little bit more awake after doing that, but that is how I feel about most skincare products and I didn't notice any like tingling sensation or anything like that on my skin. Again, this seems like a pretty gentle product which should work for many different skin types. So first impression there was that that was delightful and I obviously will have to wait a little longer to see if there are real results from it, but let me try the other two now also. So next up is this clarifying toner and now this has some mattifying ingredients in it to help contain oil. I have dry skin, normal to dry skin is my skin type, so so I would probably anticipate that this would be the one I would use the least, but it says when our skin is feeling oily, this daily clarifying tozer infused with gardenia extract acts as an anti-sebum agent and cleanses skin so that our pores feel happy and refreshed. So I don't know, never say never though. Let's test it out. I'm gonna do two pumps of that again on one of the bamboo rounds. This one definitely feels like something more is happening. This does have some clarifying ingredients to it. Uh, again, it has cucumber water in it and it also has chamomile water in it. Remember to take it down to the neck as well, ladies. And last up is the balancing one called Balance It Out. This one says this daily balancing toner is here to help us feel refreshed by adjusting our microflora. We'll have to look that up. And the appearance of excess sebum so that our skin can find its zen. So none of these have a strong scent to them, which I like. So this again has a balancing blend of ingredients. It also now has lavender water and chamomile water. So I find it pretty interesting that a lot of these have the same kind of key ingredients just swapped out to make different combinations of products. My general consensus here is that you really only need one. So I would just pick the one that you think would fit best into your routine, whatever skincare concern is most important to you. So for me, I believe that would be this brightening toner. I think even more so than the toners themselves, the standout of that was these bamboo cotton rounds. I really, really like these, so I will continue to test them out. I want to now turn my attention to lips because there are two new lip products in this latest collection launch. So first up is a lip balm. This is called the O Whale Clear Lip Balm. As you can see here, there's a little whale at the bottom. So I suspect this is what you turn <laughs> to raise the lip balm. Oh my gosh, I was right. That is so cute. So going to go ahead and test this out. It is this rectangle shape. So I'm just going to apply it sideways, front ways, I guess. This lip balm is made of avocado oil, argan oil, and shea butter to give you smooth and instantly nourished lips. I definitely notice an immediate difference with this lip balm. However, I do have very sensitive lips, so it'll be interesting to try this out and see how it wears throughout the day and if it ends up drying my lips out. I just wiped the lip balm off to go ahead and test out the Glow Yeah Tinted Lip Oil. So the original Glow Yeah lip oil that was released was just a clear lip oil, and this one is tinted, assuming pink because of the tube. Certainly feels similar in texture to the first lip oil that I tried. So this is interesting. I'm gonna read you the product description from the website. It says, our favorite lip oil now serves serious looks by adjusting to our pH and creating a custom tint of color just for us. That is super interesting and very pretty. I like the idea that it can adjust to your particular lip color based on your pH levels. So I think that's super cool. I pretty much know that this is not a product I will be reaching for on the daily because as I mentioned, I do have more sensitive lips. Based on the two lip products that I've tried out, I would say that the balm would be the one that I would use more. All right, so I have two more products to try. I'm very excited about both of these, and I do have the kind of original versions of both of these because both of these seem like very similar products to the first ones that were released, but a slightly different iteration. One of my original favorites from the first drop of Florence by Mills was this Zero Chill Face Mist. I love this one because it sprays so finely and you don't need a lot of it. 
It just has the nicest mist to it. Honestly, sometimes one spritz does it for me. And so now they've come out with the Lily Jasmine Face Mist. And if you guys know and have followed me for a while, you might know that one of my favorite skincare products of all time is the Pixi Beauty Jasmine Oil Blend. That stuff is next level amazing. And I would say that Jasmine is probably one of my favorite like scents slash fragrances to incorporate in my skincare routine. I definitely prefer it over lavender. So I'm obviously very excited to try this out. And it just says, shake before use, close eyes, and spritz over face anytime for an instant pick me up. So you could spray this over makeup, you could spray it before bed, you could spray it throughout the day, whatever works for you. Just gotta get her going. Okay, there we go. Looks like the, oh my God, I love the smell. <laughs> I love the smell. Oh my God, wait. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. I love this. <laughs> You can't really see the immediate payoff of this, but I definitely feel it. And this scent is perfect. It's so good. I love this so much. I wonder if this is gonna be like my big win from this first impressions. Before I decide on that, I do have one other product to test out, which I'm very excited about. So uh, if you follow me on TikTok, one of my TikTok videos that's gained a lot of traction is me trying out this mask so this is the mind glowing peel off mask and i love this one so much if i can show you without spilling it everywhere that is what it looks like it is the coolest formula and this is one of the peel off masks that does not hurt when i take it off promise 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 that it doesn't hurt so they've released a another one of these so this is the low-key calming peel off mask and one thing that they included that I'm pretty sure they did not have last time is this little spatula to apply it with, which if you watch the TikTok, you'll see that it would have made it a lot less messy for me had I had this. Oh my gosh. All right, we have temporarily relocated to the bathroom because I don't trust myself to try this out. So I'm going to take it on my little spatula. Ooh, gosh, these, this one and the other one seriously are just so pretty. <laughs> I can already tell that the spatula is like a thoroughly improved experience from applying this with my hands just because I can really spread it more evenly. And I feel like for peel off masks, that's pretty key to the success of the mask. If that makes sense. All right, here I am with the mask on. It says to wait 20 to 30 minutes, so I will answer some DMs on Instagram <laughs> while I wait, and I will be back with you in 20 minutes. All right, it's been 20 minutes. I was primarily on TikTok while we were gone, and now I'm gonna try to peel this off, and it's already coming a little bit because I was making some funny faces to uh, just see what it feels like. It's very tight on the skin right now, feels very similar to the other one. So basically you're just going to grab it here and start the peeling process. Bonus points if you can keep it all together, which clearly I can't do. If you have anywhere that's like a little bit liquidy still that didn't like dry down, um, I probably could have waited for a little bit longer, but I think that just means that I kind of put too much in that spot. <laughs> which clearly is this whole side of my face. So I just returned from a quick trip to the bathroom to wash the rest of the mask off of my face. Two things you can do to avoid what just happened to me happening to you is one, use a thinner layer of product. I just got overexcited because of my new spatula. And the second thing is also just to wait longer. I waited like 20 minutes exactly. Uh, you could wait up to 30 minutes though to take the mask off and that would give it more time to dry. To me, the original mask and now the low-key calming mask, I think I do prefer the original, mainly because this one has charcoal in it and charcoal acts as that kind of oil magnet to really extract from your skin and it's a bit of a more satisfying experience in my opinion. The products are very similar though ingredient-wise. Uh, I'll have links to all 
all of these down below if you want to shop them or check them out to get the full ingredient list too. I know I've just been calling out some key ingredients here. One thing to note for both of these is that there is witch hazel in both products, which is typically an ingredient that my skin does not like. I did not have a good experience with a Biore product that had witch hazel in it, and I also tried Fenty Skin, which I think we could get into in a whole other video, but I'm hesitant about what to say because it didn't go very well for me. And so I think my three standout things that I am most excited to keep using from this second launch are first and foremost the Lily Jasmine Face Mist. I just can't wait to keep using this. I truly loved it and it made me feel instantly gave me that little bit of boost. The smell is amazing uh, and it just feels like a total upgrade even from the product that I originally liked. And second and third, I really have to give it up for these tools and accessories. You know, these bamboo face pads, I feel like I definitely want to try to make the effort to focus on using these in my skincare routine. And I loved this spatula experience for applying the mask, even though I applied too much of it. Uh, which just shows you how much I liked using the spatula to apply it. I don't really have any misses from these first impressions other than these two toners, which I probably just wouldn't have gravitated towards, but it'll be kind of hard to tell without testing them out over time, so I will be sure to continue to do that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little self-care Sunday first impressions of the new collection from Florence by Mills. Please leave all of your thoughts in the comments down below. I can't wait to hear from you and learn what you're most excited about from this collection. As I mentioned earlier, please consider subscribing to my channel for new videos every Sunday. If you like beauty products and beauty reviews, this is the place to be. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up down below. Thank you again for watching. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Whoa.